गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ड्यू टू नेटवर्क कनेक्शन आई स्टार्ट विद लेट आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट लेट्स वेट फॉर टू थ्री मोर मिनट्स इन द मेन टाइम जस्ट रिवाइज वॉट वी हैव वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द लास्ट क्लास होप आई एम ऑडिबल टू यू ऑल हेलो मैं ऑडिबल यस मैम ओके यस मैम ओके जस्ट गो थ्रू द क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस्ड आई हैव गिवन वन न्यूमेरिकल होप एवरीवन हैज सॉल्व इज देयर एनी कंफ्यूजन इन द प्रीवियस न्यूमेरिकल Okay, let's start. It's already late. is my screen is visible to you all my screen is visible students my screen is visible please say yes or no oh no, ma'am ma'am no ma'am okay just wait for some second due to network it's visible now okay so today we will discuss uh, determine the maximum normal i'll start the class okay so we'll today we'll discuss determine the maximum normal and shear stress on inclined planes for the case of linear angular loading the earlier classes we have studied how what is normal stress what is normal stress and what is shear stress okay in the inclined plane we have found out the formula of normal stress and uh, shear stress now we'll find out what is the maximum normal stress and shear stress uh, please students if you didn't see my screen right at the moment please let me know okay otherwise it will i'll i'll discuss and you won't understand anything let me unlock the meeting so that others can join okay 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 so today we'll determine the maximum normal and shear stress on the inclined plane for the case of uni axial loading uni means only not visible I'll stop sharing and I'll again I'll share the screen. hope now it is visible now it is visible no ma'am okay let me share again now voice is also cracking let me go yes 
Yes, ma'am. We can see now. Okay. So basically, we'll determine the maximum normal and uh, shear stress on the inclined place for the case of uniaxial loading. Uniaxial loading uni means only in one direction. So this is our section. Earlier we have considered. So we have, we will apply it. We'll apply it. We'll apply this uniaxial load P, and these are the these are the stresses. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Now your voice is not clear, ma'am. Now, now. Hello. I'm still. Oh yeah, ma'am. It's okay now. It's okay now. Okay. Okay. Uh -uh. Hope it's it's fine now. Hope it's fine now. Hello. Ma'am, sometimes just go down. Um. That's because of my network. It's very poor. Sometimes it's clear. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's start now. I will try. Okay. So this is the structural member. We uh, we we are applying a load, uniaxial loading. Okay. The and and this uniaxial loading, the structural member is subject to simple tension or compression. So you know this is the compression and this will be tension. Okay. So we are applying a uniaxial load and this is the stresses in the inclined plane we have discussed in the earlier classes. This is the normal stress. This is the shear stress. Okay. So we'll uh, discuss uh, we'll discuss the normal and shear stresses on the inclined plane. I'm uh, uh, I want to relate this with some with two equilateral similar triangles. This is one triangle. This is one triangle. So area of this transfer section I'm considering at as AT and cross section of this uh, tra uh, non transfer skirt uh, here it is I have taken as A. So this will be your A, okay, and this will be your A T. Again, I'm really I'm relating this triangle with a similar triangle. Suppose the hypotenuse is one, and this is your cos theta, and this is your sin this is your sin theta okay this is your one this is your one this is your cos theta this is a sin theta i am relating this triangle with this triangle where hypotenuse is a this hypotenuse is your cross section area of this and the at is your this straight line and this is the at if i compare this to similar triangle suppose a by at i can write a by at i can write i can relate this with corresponded to a there is in the uh, another similar triangle there is one and corresponding to at here we have cost theta so what will be our a so our a will be this at will comes to this cross multiplication if we do at cos theta got it understood this much how we got so this is our one kind of equation we'll use later on so our cross sectional area is at by cos theta so we can find this a equals to at by cos theta clear am i clear hello Hello. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, ma'am, can you repeat again? Yes, yes, I can repeat again. Let me cancel it. Let me choose another color. Okay. So this is our structural member. Okay. We have provided. Where is my note? This is the structural member. We have provided a force, uniaxial force. This this is a structural member. I have provided a uniaxial loading in this direction, 
and this structural member can be subjected to a tension or compression okay so we have considered this section and this section here the area of transverse area is at i have considered and here yeah, yeah. yes 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 hello ma'am are you ma'am are you using the cursor hello ma'am are you using the cursor yes i am using the cursor the cursor is not moving ma'am it's not moving <laughs> it's let, in my screen okay let me shift to a, yeah in my screen ju just wait a second let let me shift to another place i have really network issue in my media ah uh, okay just wait for some second Yeah, just let me know when my cursor doesn't move, okay? Otherwise, I won't understand. I'll start explaining to you all. Is my cursor moving now? Hello. Confused. That's why I'm looking. Is my cur? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ma'am, it's not even visible. Screen also is not visible. No, ma'am. The cursor is not visible. Sir, uh, I can see the cursor now. Oh, ma'am. Yeah, uh, I can see a pen, but it's not moving in my screen. Where the in pen? My screen is moving. It's moving, na? So maybe network issue. Yeah. maybe network issue i'll do one thing i'll uh, um, i'll i'll do one thing who is ever able to see it's okay fine i'll do one thing i'll make a video of this class i'll every class simple just video mm -hmm. not the recording class i'll make a video and i'll share the link also okay uh, shall i start okay ma'am uh, okay ma'am Ho hope some of you are uh, able to see my cursor moving i'm drawing something visible now I have drawn something yes, visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hope I can start now. I have come to my terrace to teach you all. Okay. So this is this is the load we are applying. Uniax. This is our uniaxial loading. Okay. This member can be in tension or compression. We have now in this case we have considered the tension part. Okay. so the cross sectional area of this section we have con considered as transverse area at and cross sectional area of this section we have simply considered a okay i am relating this and this area with a similar triangle two similar triangle suppose this is one similar triangle and this is one sim this is one similar triangle this a is this one and this straight line is representing this area as at okay i'm i'm relating this triangle with a similar triangle suppose i'm taking hypotenuse as one perpendicular as cos theta perpendicular will be cos theta and this base will be your sin i don't have graphic pad so just bear with this so this is your sin theta this is your cos theta and this is one if i relate this to triangle suppose a equals a divided by at this is equals to corresponding to a we have our one in the another tri similar triangle corresponding to at we have cos theta so this is your cos theta so what will be your a if i want to know the a what will be your a this will simply goes to this here this at will goes to here so this will be your at divided by cos theta am i clear in this part am i clear this part how we got a equals to at cos theta is it clear hello Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's move to the next slide. So basically, we got. So basically, we got our 
a equals to 80 by cos theta. What I got that? Can't see the drawing, ma'am. I can see the diagram itself. Okay, I'll share the video. Just understand. Okay, I'll share the video plus class in advance. So we got a. Others can see my cursor. Sapam, are you able to see my cursor? Hello, anyone can see my cursor? No. No. Now. Now is it visible? I have written with green color A equals to 80 by cos theta. Yes, okay. Hope. Just understand. I will share the video. I will make one video and share. Then it will be easy for you to understand. Otherwise, this online class will, will be issue for you all. I will... Do one thing before the class. I'll share the PPT and I'll share the video link if possible, and then it will be easy. Or I'll do one thing. I'll share the PPT and we'll start. So everyone, open the PPT and listen what I'm saying. Okay, okay. So we got A is equal to 80 by cos theta. Now we'll find the normal stress and shear stress. So what what is the normal stress? We got sigma. Sigma equals to n by a in the last class. Yes or no? We got sigma is equal to n by a. So, what is our a? Our a is 80 by cos theta. Sigma equals to n. Instead of a, we can put 80 cos theta. So, we will write 80 and this cos theta will go upwards. Is it? Now, our n will be by cross multiplication this 80 will go here so we will get sigma 80 sigma 80 by cos theta so this is our n so this is our n n is equal to sigma 80 by cos theta this part is clear how we got n is equal to c here how we got n equals to sigma 80 by cos theta. This part is clear. We got a is equal to 80 by cos theta. Then we have sigma or from the earlier class. Normal stress is n by a. So a we can write. We can put the value of a from this formula 80 by cos theta. We have put we have cross multi we did the cross multiplication and we got n is equal to sigma 80 cos theta. Is this clear? This part? Please re response, otherwise I'll teach to myself. This part is clear? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So, next, what will be your tau VA? Again, from the last class, we know our shear stress is, our shear stress is, shear, uh, shear, shear stress is, shear force by per unit area. So, your tau is equals to V by A. So, instead of A, you can put 80 by cos theta. V 80 and this cos theta will go upwards. So, what will be your shear stress? V will be your, V will be your, how much? Tau 80, this 80 will go upwards. Your tau tau eighty by cos theta. So your V is your this will be V okay. V your V is your tau eighty by cos theta. So this is how we'll get we got normal stress and shear stress on the inclined plane 
remember we need to find the maximum these are the not, not the maximum values these are just the uh, value on the inclined plane so we got if someone asks you how much will be the normal stress on inclined plane so it will be simply sigma at by cos theta and shear stress on an inclined plane will be tau at by cos theta so an mcq question will ask you with related to this formula or they can give you this dimensions angle and they will ask you to find the find the normal stress on the inclined plane so simply put this value sigma at by cos theta what is sigma what is sigma response what is sigma hello hello what is sigma hello my voice is not clear oh god i have lots of problem because of my now it is okay do one thing write your roll number write your roll number in the chat box at least i'll get the attendance for the first class write your roll number write your roll number in the chat box hello hello write your roll number in the chat box so that i can write your roll number i'll shift to another place for the no network issue due to the network issue everyone wrote their roll numbers in the chat box i'll attend i'll like end the meeting if 
everyone have wrote their roll number Thirty five students are over there. What about others? And end, end the meeting. Students, I'll end the meeting. I'll say the same link will be there.